Hi everyone and welcome back. Guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can update the data in Firebase Real-Time Database. So in our previous video, we saw that how we can implement a click listener on recyclable item. And when we click on the recyclable item, how we, we can show the data like this. So we saw that in the previous video. So you can watch the previous video. And in this video, I will update this data. But uh, before updating the data, we will show a dialog here. And the dialog will have a three edit text view, uh, and the three edit text. And uh, in that edit text, we will show this data, the employee name, age, and salary. And the user will have to update and then click on the update button. So the data will be updated in Firebase Real-Time Database. So first of all, we need to add a click listener to this button update. So here uh, I have initialized this uh, button in the previous video and uh, I will just simply type uh, the button name btn update set on click listener. Okay. And here I will call a method open update open update update dialog. Okay. And uh, here we need to pass the employee ID as uh, we, we are accessing this employee. So we need this ID to be passed to that dialog. Okay. And uh, we, we will need the employee name. So how we will get that? We will get that by the intent extra. We are, uh, we are, uh, we are getting intent extra from the fetching activity. Okay. As you can see here, I am passing intent from here. Uh, I explained all these things in the previous video. So you can watch the previous video. Okay, so uh, I will uh, just simply copy and paste it here and I will convert it to string. Okay, and I will add a comma. I will just simply add it here another line and I will change it to employee name. Okay, and I will also add it to string. Okay, now we need to create this uh, method below here. So simply type private fun open dialog okay and we need to pass these two parameters here so employee id will be the type of string okay and employee name will also be the type of string so type string and here we need to add the open and closing curly braces okay inside this method we will uh, create our dialog and for that dialog i have already created a view here and this is a simple view this is a linear layout and we have three edit text view as you can see here we have three edit text and one button so if i change it to design and if i zoom it in so as you can see here this is our dialog interface okay employee name employee age employee salary and uh, when user update the data here so the user will have to click on this update button okay so uh, this is our dialog and we will use this uh, view okay so first of all we need to create a variable of m dialog so i will name it m dialog you can name it anything you want and uh, is it will be the it will be equal to alert dialog alert dialog dot builder okay and inside this builder we will pass the context this okay and here we need to create an inflator so i will name it inflator to inflate the that xml file inflator and i will is it will be equal to layout inflator and below here i will add m dialog view so it will be the dialog view it will be equal to inflator inflator dot inflate and we will pass this uh, layout id here so r dot layout dot employee list item not uh, update dialog okay so and the second parameter will be null okay now we need to set this view to our dialog so simply type here m dialog dot set view set view and we will pass the m dialog view here okay so we uh, we are setting this view or uh, we are setting this view to our alert dialog okay now below here we need to initialize uh, these views okay so uh, to initialize these views we will create a variable et employee employee name equal to and we will be using this dialog view okay so m dialog view dot 
simply type ndv so this is the shortcut for uh, find view by id find view by id and here pass the edit text because this is the edit text and pass the id r dot id et employee name okay and i will just simply copy paste it two times oh sorry i will just simply copy this yes it two times uh, basically we need it three times because we have a button here and I will change this to employee edge employee edge and I will change this one to employee salary and I will change this ID to employee edge and this ID to employee okay uh, ET employee salary and I will change this one to the button this is a button and this will be the button btn update data okay so I will just simply change it to btn uh, btn update okay uh, let me confirm the id of the button so the id of the button is btn update so I will change it to btn update data so we will not be confusing this button to our this button okay so i will change this to this btn update data now what we will do uh, we will we will set the dialog title here okay so first of all uh, we will set the data uh, to our edit text so et employee name dot set text okay dot set text and we will pass that intent here okay so that uh, this intent getting extra intent get string is extra and we will pass it here okay so what we are doing here we are setting the employee uh, we are setting uh, this intent data to uh, this edit text okay and we will do for the rest and I will just simply copy this then I will paste it two times more and the second one will be ET employee edge and ET employee salary and we need to change these IDs okay so now these IDs are coming from here okay so I need to change this employee edge from here employee edge and I will change this employee salary to get the employee salary from intent extra okay now we will set the dialog title here so m dialog dot set title so we will set the title like uh, this updating so we will let the user know which data he is updating so updating updating Mm, here we will pass the employee name from the parameters updating employee name record okay now uh, we will create our dialog so uh, where alert dialog dialog is equal to m dialog m dialog dot create and now we will show the dialog alert dialog alert dialog dot show okay so we will show the dialog and after this we need to implement this button okay so i will give a space to this button so i will just copy the name btn update data dot set on set on the listener and inside this button we will we will pass another method to update the data update employee data and we will pass the id from here so we will pass this id okay i will tell you later why i am passing this id and we will pass the employee name so we will pass the employee ed name dot text to string and et h dot text to 
or text to string okay to string and for the salary employee salary et dot text to string okay so what we are doing here we are passing we are getting uh, the text value from these uh, from these values when we uh, get the data from here from here and the user updated and the user click on update button so we need to get uh, the updated data from these fields to pass it to this method and in this method we will be passing we will be putting this data in firebase database so i will show you in a while okay so now before uh, outside this button i will show a toast message toast dot make and pass the application context and the message will be employee employee <coughs> data updated okay and toast dot sorry toast dot length okay length long and show okay after this we need to we need to update this data this text view so this text view i i have already initialized this text view and i will just simply uh, copy these text views these three text views okay i will simply copy this and here i will paste it here and instead of assigning this toast messages we will assign these these data okay this one so employee name so it will get the new data from here okay and this one will be the employee age and this one will be the employee salary so what we are doing here we are we are setting updated data to our text views okay now we need to create this method and uh, simply i will uh, dismiss the alert dialog so alert dialog dot dismiss okay we will uh, do this uh, i think inside this button but let me check it later i will just simply create the method i will find and update employee data and here i will pass the id id it will be a string okay and name it will also be a string h it will also be a string and salary salary it will also be a string okay now here we need to create the database reference so first of all i will create the database reference and i will call it db rf reference firebase uh, firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and here we will pass our db name so what is our db name so we will get it from here employees okay so you have to remember this name and i will paste it here but we are not uh, getting a reference to the whole database we are getting a reference to only this child so here we will add another um, from method here dot child and in the child we will pass the id okay so we are passing this id and we are getting reference getting reference to this child okay and below here I will uh, create a new variable employee info equal to employee employee model and inside this employee model we will pass our data the first one will be id second one will be name age salary okay and below here we will add this data dbref dot set value and we will pass the employee info okay so here we are updating our uh, firebase real time database data so what we are doing here we are calling this method here and we are passing this employee id from this 
and we are getting this id here from our intent extra so we are referencing to this child okay and here uh, we are showing a toast message that employee data is updated and we are updating our text views also and we are also uh, dismissing our alert dialog okay so now i will run this application okay guys our application is installed and one thing i i have to tell you that we need to uh, add this these line of code inside this btn update click listener okay so i will just simply paste it here and i will remove this code from here okay so uh, we need to dismiss the alert dialog when the btn update data is clicked okay so i will run it again okay guys so i will go to the fetch data activity and from here i will open this this first one okay so now i will click on this update button and as you can see here updating hilal ahmed record so this is the employee name and we are getting uh, this data to this dialog from this uh, text views okay uh, or we are getting this this data from our intent extra so i will just simply type update here and i will also type update here and i will simply also type update here okay now i will click on this update data and you will uh, you will notice the changes so update data and as you can see here our data is updated but this data is not fetching from firebase database so if i go back and i go back again and as you can see here now we have uh, update with our name okay so if i open this and as you can see here this is our data and if i click again and i will just simply remove this and i will update it so now as you can see here we have only our name and if i go back so as you can see here i have only my name so that's how you can uh, update the data in firebase real time database and also i will just simply explain it again we are opening this dialog and we are uh, inflating this uh, layout here okay and after inflating this layout we are uh, initializing the edit text and button and we are uh, getting the data from the intent extra so we have already uh, the data from intent extra here we are passing it from here okay so we have already the data and we are setting the uh, this data here in this edit text views okay and now when the user made some changes to this uh, this data we are adding the updated data in our firebase below here okay as you can see here we are passing is it is a parameter and here we are updating the data so that's how we can update data in firebase real-time database and in the coming video i will show you how you can delete the data from firebase real-time database so if you like this video please share this video with your friends and uh, if you are new to my channel so please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bill notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos